Okay, this is going to be a video about creating a navigation system that has real links. Right now you probably have the pound sign in the link area for your navigation. So before I do that, I want to show you something in my USB. So I'm just going to minimize this, show you my USB. Okay, my name folder and my final folder. So I'm going to save all my files for the final project in my final folder. I've got my home page. I've got the images that are going to be on my final project and this cascading style sheet. Okay, so I'm coming back here. I save this file as index. Keep in mind, and I talked about this early on, early on in the course, every folder, the first page of every folder is index. That's the first one a browser will open up in a folder. So this is no exception. Your home page will be index. So what I'm going to do is open up my properties palette and I'm going to adjust this navigation. So if I select over home right now, I've got the pound sign in there. So this really is going to be the home page is going to be index. So when people click on this throughout my website, they'll go back to this home page index.html. Now I have not created the news page yet, but when I do, I'm going to call it news.html. I've got the contact page here. When I create that contact content contact page, I'm going to call it contact .html. I'm being very careful to use all lowercase. So when I actually create those pages, I know exactly what, what I'm doing with lowercase and capital. About, same thing, I'm going to call this about dot html. All right. Now, what I'm going to do just as the example, I'm just going to save this page out multiple times. Rather than having to create the navigation system again on my news page, my contact page, my about page, I'm just going to use the same navigation that's already set up. So I'm on my index page. What I'm going to do is go file, save as in my final folder, I'm going to now call this page. I'm going to kind of clone it. I'm going to call it contact and save it. I'm going to do news. So I'm going to go file, save as, and I'm going to call it news. Let me spell it right. News. I'm going to create a page called About. File. Save As. And About. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going, I've got all those pages open here, and I'm just going to make them look different. So maybe my contact page, instead of having all this, I'll just change the text here. Contact us. And I'll come over here, do the same thing. Just so I can tell the difference between these pages, I'll go over here to the news page. I clicked right here, and I'll call this uh, news be consistent here. News, more news. And the about page. Oh, I actually already 
has the word about in it, about, about us, and about. All right, so I've got the about page created now, the news page, the contact page, and the home page. And obviously for your final project, your pages are going to look different. However, if they look radically different and you've got a different layout, you probably should create a second style sheet and attach it to those other pages. Because right now they're all using the same style sheet. So all the styling are going to be exactly the same. All right, so now because I clone the navigation, if I preview the page, I should actually have a working navigation system. So let me go ahead and click the preview in browser button. Okay, don't forget before you do this to save all your pages. Um, in preview mode, you have to click on the command key when you click on a link. Clicking on that one, more news. Clicking on this one with the command key, contact us. I'm going to do about, holding down the command key, about. Now, when you upload these to a server, it's not going to be an issue. You don't have to commit, click on the command key, but in preview mode, you do. I also have a little, there is a little bit of a glitch. Since the browser tends to remember old information, you may have to clear your cache in your browser, come up here. You may even have to restart Dreamweaver. I had a little bit of a glitch. It wasn't working for me right away. So what I had to do is I had to uh, restart Dreamweaver. Okay, now, now it's working just fine. Okay, so I've got a working navigation system. Again, just another note, your pages are going to look different, You're not going to have the same content. You're going to swap out the content. And if you want your other pages to look different than your home page, I suggest creating a second style sheet for your other pages like news, contact, and about. Otherwise, you might have some difficulty. You might get your styles mixed up. All right, creating a working navigation system.